Hey everybody, we're a little early today. Welcome, happy Thursday. Beautiful day out. And I've got my friend Jolene with me and she's here to block a shawl. So today's video is gonna be all about the fun of steam blocking. I wanna give a big shout out to Keith Leonard cause he's the one who taught us this nifty trick. And we're gonna tell you all about it. So here we go. This is Jolene. Hi everyone. And I'm gonna pull up a seat. Now I am gonna have my mask on and off here. So if you can't hear me, let me know. I'm also gonna to be too far from the phone to see a whole heck of a lot, but we're gonna do our best. Okay, guys, here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is this fun little sweater. Isn't that adorable? We would love to tell you the pattern name, but it's top secret. It's a test knit. What's the yarn is Malabrigo Rios in color English Rose. So what we're going to do here is we want to make this nice and smooth. Well, for only $50, you can get one of these big stand up steamers and watch the magic. I'm going to see if I can get closer. And Jolene, you're just going to want to watch your fingers. Hi there, I'll be right with you. So the other thing we're going to do is we use these pins to kind of help hold things in place. These are our knit blockers. And you can go ahead and just to pull it into shape and see this little pucker here we're going to get that out oh it's like magic and it's magic <laughs> it's magic so i'm going to let jolene work here and you guys can watch her steam block her little sweater and i'm going to help a customer so i'll be right back Let's see we got some comments here Hey guys, be right with you. How can I help you today? Okay, so I'm going to get this off its little stand here so you guys can see a little closer what we're doing. Oops. So Jolene's putting in our knit blockers. We have all the different sizes, small and large. And this little pucker is going to come right out and that's just a function of the increases here, and it's going to look wonderful in about 30 seconds. Perfect. So now, oh, here's the big steamer, guys. That's a Steam Pro, and it's on Amazon, and they run about $50. You don't need to spend any more, and I usually charge more than that to block for you. So definitely do it. Let's see what we got here. Jolene, can you see if I'm filming this well? That looks good. We're going to add a little bit more. Is that? Yep, perfect. And the steamer can touch the fabric. And look at that little pucker. It's gone. And you can actually see the fibers relax. And all of a sudden, all the little hiccups of our knitting, all the times the phone rings while we're doing this, it's all good. I'm gonna let Jolene finish up. I have a guest, so I'm gonna pack this up here for you. There you are. Thank you. Hi guys, how can I help you today? Well, we picked up this new hobby now of the little bitty like, you know, characters. Oh, so now I guess I need to get some Usually, I think they were saying three or four. Okay. 
easy and fun. How are we doing, Jolene? Good. How long do you have to keep the... Um, Good question. Yes. It's done. We it's are, done? We are done. Oh, wow. Pull it up. And we can just put these to the side because we're going to use them again. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over. Okay. And now we're just going to give it... Just a touch-up. A little touch-up tweak on this side. Awesome. But you don't want to make a hard seam. So you have to be oh, careful I not see. to pinch your edges, but you want to get a little bit there. Now, if you needed more length, you would just give it a little tug and it would do it for you. Awesome. It's so cute. You are set. Amazing. Thank you. Yay. Oh, look at that, everyone. Check it out. So cute. Just magic. Love it. So we're going to do this one now. This is an awesome shawl. What's the name of the shawl again? It's a uh, pattern by Lolo Did It. I think it's called um, Abrazo. Abrazo shawl. It means hug. And the yarns are Emma and uh, Hugh Loco. Hugh Loco. Mm -hmm. And there's a, the pattern has a fingering weight version and I believe a DK weight version. So on this one, we're going to kind of start in the middle. Now we can use blocking wires. These are blocking wires. And I have them, if you just want to reach in that little tube and grab oh, the blocking it? wire out. I've never used these before. Fun. So we can use these if you want to. What you would do is thread it through and you would thread it through the whole shawl. We're gonna see if we can do it without threading it right now, just for speed and ease, but if we need it, we can do it. The good thing about steam blocking is you can always come back and do it again. So, okay. So how big do you want this? Do you really want to block it out or do you want to leave it kind of I squishy? I leave it squishy a little bit. So let's yeah. just start hitting it with the steamer. Okay. Because with a shawl like this, with a shawl like this here in steam blocking, guys, you can make it do anything you want. Look at it move and even out. And we're going to kind of hold it. Now, if we want to show some of these patterns, I'll show you what we're going to do. You want to block yeah, that much? Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go along, start here in the corner. Don't block up there yet, because okay. you got to go, you have to keep it in line. And use the lines of the board to help you. And we can wire this if you want, because you also have to get this side coming up here. And we don't have to do the whole thing at once. You can do half and half. Okay. So let's do a section. And then we can come, come back. back. Yes. And that's what you want. Now wave okay. the magic wand. I'm going to check on our guests and I'll be right back. So Jolene, what we're going to do after this is get it where you want it. Uh-huh. Pick it up. We'll let it cool for just a second. Then you're going to pull the pins up, shift it, and what, get the next section so it looks like that. Okay. Perfect. And you don't have to flip it because there's enough going on that you don't have to do that. Okay.
snag, but I'll use a crochet hook and get that later. Some of these have a little barb, so, but it'll block it'll out. It'll block out. Or I'll fix that with a crochet hook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Some of these get little burrs on them. They don't come in perfect, but yeah, we can we'll work that, that through. It'll yeah. be fine. No problem. So, I don't know if you can see this, guys, but we've got oh, am I showing before and after let's see if I can flip this around for you there you go so this is the before and then this is the after and it's so Beautiful. much better mm -hmm. so these are awesome and this is the Steam Pro. So I'm going to let you all continue on here while I help our friends in the back of the store. And you just keep and make sure you overlap. And they don't have to be touching. Okay. Overlap where we blocked and where we didn't. Yes. Okay. Good. Cool. I'm going to. Set you guys back up. truly is a magic wand and Tony if you're watching my Christmas wish list I need this on my Christmas wish list One more end, this end, and then we'll be all done. All right, let's see. What else we got? Do you want to try threading the wire in there? Um, I don't think we need to. I think it's coming okay. out great. I'm just gonna pin out this last end, I think. Now, as far as all these fun ends, there's two theories on this. Jolene likes to block it and then weave them in. Mm -hmm. I like to weave them in, not cut them block them and then snip them mm -hmm. so that's personal choice what do you think is this fun this and see so awesome. you can keep pulling this out as much as, as you want mm -hmm. you just decide how fluffy and squishy you want it because with stockinette you could really oh you could really stretch so it, out. it depends if you want to block like a thug like one of my friends used to say <laughs> or leave it kind of squishy and just yeah. even everybody up I love but it like you want to make this nice line, so I might throw in one over here. Oh, to hold it to, to the hold line. it, and then you can kind of pull on the see, edge. See, and you don't even have to put them that close Something together. Like you appear to you just want to open it up a little bit, and then we'll get the end later. Perfect. There, and then we'll do the end at the end.
Yes. You're here for your yarn. So easy. Delta, you're right here with the bed. Mm. I'm just gonna finish up my video. So what do we think, yes. folks? So easy and great. Now you said that um, there's a this stand-up version is the one. Yes. That they have different kinds, but this they is... have different models. But you really don't need to spend more money. My particular version was like $125 marked down to 70 something because it was a Prime Day sale. So um, I jumped on it, but my mom has hers, which works fantastically well. And that one was 48 something. Nice. So this you is don't perfect. need anything fancy. They're simple units. Mm -hmm. And I, I do recommend these knit blockers. They're on the website and they're fantastic. Yes. So, yeah. awesome. I think we're all set, guys. I got uh, some folks here to visit with me. Have a wonderful day. Let me see some of the comments here and then we'll sign off. Oh, it just takes a minute to dry, Sherry. It's um, She's ready to pick it up and go home. In fact, I'll let her model it for you real quick. We're doing a video, Helga. I'll be right with you. No, no, no. Otherwise, you can be in the video. No, no, I don't need to be in the video. I don't want to <laughs> That is this one here, right? 
Uh, no, no, that's something no. else. Yeah, right. Tell me. One second, Helga. I'll meet you over there in just a minute. Fuck, I don't so pretty. There you go, guys. Love it. Hope my mom's not watching. Mom, close your eyes. It's a surprise. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks, guys. Yep, Carol, that's a steam fast. That's awesome. Um, we've had a great time here today, so hope you all learned a lot about steam blocking. And we're here 11 to 5 every day but Sunday. That's my day to die yarn. Speaking of which, I'm going to flip this around for one second. We got some new children here. This is DK Key West. And this one is a one of a kind. That was a mistake, guys. It's gorgeous. It's fabulous. I have three, and it will never be seen again. It's not on the website yet either. So we got some new colors. And we'll be back with you soon. Bye, guys.